kind of especially like that this year. It seems like it's kind of hard to tell from people week what's going to happen. Uh, that the team that comes out kind of goes prime and win over the game. I mean, you know, that's what's great about this league. You know, uh, there's no cupcake team. Everybody is tough on their every other Saturday. And, you know, uh, we got to bring our A game and uh, we can prepare to have a week for our just felt overconfident, you know, uh, instead of focusing and executing a uh, defensive game plan, uh, we was just, uh, we we just wasn't, you know, comfortable, like you said. Uh, well, we were too comfortable. We uh, were overconfident, and we didn't respect our opponents. Is it because of what they had been through? They lost to Missouri by four touchdowns, and y'all beat them by five <coughs> touchdowns, and do you think that may have play the factor as far as y'all being too comfortable? Uh, I mean, yeah, that and, you know, I think uh, recent years plays a huge part in it as well. A lot of fans, you know, were hoping for the college football playoff for Georgia and that kind of stuff. You guys were in pretty good shape before that loss last week. It kind of, how do you view it in terms of, you know, the season and, uh, you know, does that put a damper on it for you guys that, you know, that probably's out? Oh, not, not at all, you know, uh, Anything can happen, you know, it's still right in front of us. Uh, we just got to take care of our uh, business and everything else to handle itself. Uh, you know, uh, our goals are still right there in front of us. You think two loss SEC champion Georgia is going to get in? I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying um, we just got to handle uh, our business and take care of everything on our end and uh, everything else will fall into place. Are you okay? You look pretty hurt Saturday. Uh, yes, I'm doing perfectly fine now. What what happened? Uh, you know, uh, just got a little banged up. That's all. It was it? It looked like your shoulder, or arm, or something. Was that the proverbial stinger or whatever they call it? Yes, it was just a stinger, nothing too serious. Okay. Did you? Uh, we heard a lot about loss contained uh, in this particular game, the last game. Um, I know you play a lot of end and I guess five technique tackle. Is that essentially mm -hmm. what you're considered? Well, did that? Did you feel like that fell on you and your and guys that play your position? Or I, I mean, obviously, uh, different people are in charge of setting the edge, I guess. But where, where was the breakdown there, in your opinion? Uh, you know, not pointing any fingers at anybody. You know, it was a team effort. You know, uh, we you know we could have eliminated some of the uh, mistakes we made. Uh, and, and I mean, as far as uh, you know, pointing finger if you. Uh, I have to leave that question open to uh, Coach Brewer. Okay. What, what's what's the what's the general attitude coming out of a game like that? Because you guys had made, you you guys were tracking a pretty pretty good progress coming into that game. That's the first step back that you guys have made in a while. Obviously, you got to reset and play another game. I mean, what's the what's the attitude going into Kentucky? Uh, attitude going into Kentucky is you know uh, we you know we got to go out there and uh, take care of business, handle business. Uh, you know. Their nets on our schedule and uh, all of our focus on them. Certainly, in that preparation for Kentucky is the fact that you know you guys did have a significant loss. Is that in your mindset whatsoever, or does that even? Uh, no, nah, it's you know I'm we we move past it. You know uh, it doesn't weigh in on anything heading forward uh, against Kentucky. You know our main focus right now is just Kentucky.